Okay, I'm Chris Avina. I'm here with Rick McDermott from the New York Crossbow Coalition. Rick, thanks for taking the time to speak to us today. Well, thanks for stopping by. Now, you play a very important role in our hunting community, because I know right now we fought pretty hard, or well, you fought pretty hard for our rights to be able to hunt crossbow in New York, where previously to last year, we weren't allowed to. Now, yeah. how, did, how did you come about? Well, in, uh, I decided in uh, 2012, I was fed up with waiting. I work with a lot of other state organizations, but we go in and talk about a lot of things. And when we walk out of the room, we've talked about eight or 10 things, and crossbows were one of them. Uh, legislators only listen to a couple of the things you talk about. Crossbows was never a priority. Uh, by creating the Crossbow Coalition, we created a front, a name and a face for crossbows. Um, when we walk into a room and we walk out, what were they here for? They were here for crossbows, because that's what we discuss. Sure. So um, I started the organization as a Facebook page in February of, early February of 2012. Uh, within a couple days, we had 30 or 40 people signed on to it, and I talked to a couple other friends um, that are part of this with me, and we incorporated, by, by the middle of March of 2012, we were incorporated. Uh, we are now a member-based organization. We filed for our uh, 501c7. We're a nonprofit, so we've moved on since then. Okay. We, have a, uh, a, a, we have paid membership of twenty dollars and I am a I may people say that I'm the I'm the person that did this. I'm the person that organized this. It's the membership that's done it through phone calls and you're everything the face else. Of the organization, right. You're the organizer, you're the uh, but it's, man out front. Yes. But it's taken everybody. It's not I, I haven't done this myself. It's taken a lot of people making phone calls. And we need a lot more we need a lot more people to help us with this because there's exciting things on the horizon. Now, why has there been such resistance to hunt with crossbow in New York? I, the, the arguments that I hear, I just don't give, I, I don't take, uh, I don't believe hold much water. Mm -hmm. um, people say it's an unfair advantage. Uh, it's too easy. Uh, there's just too many arguments that really, they can't give any sound reason. Uh, this is just another form of archery. It's uh -huh. a bow. It's been around as long as, you know, bows have been around. It's been 500 BC. Um, there's just people that are opposed to change. People were opposed to change when compound bows came out. People were opposed to change when they put, uh, when people started using sights and releases. Um, it goes all the way back when there was, uh, Recurves were in the early in the early part of the 1900s, 20s, 1920, 1930 area, and people that shot traditionally said that's that's not a bow because it was not a solid piece of wood. It was laminate and it started having fiberglasses and other man-made materials in it. So technology always brings about controversy. Sure, and I got to tell you personally, I was thrilled when crossbow was made legal to hunt in New York because. You know, I've been thinking about it for a long time. I bought one last year. I hunted with it for the first time. And it is really a phenomenal weapon. Yeah. Um, it's not easy like everyone thinks. It's hunting just like every other piece of equipment. Yeah. Now, what do you have uh, in store for us? I know you've been working hard behind the scenes, uh, attending the meetings, pushing bills, yeah. meeting, push, uh, you know, pressing palms, and. Yeah. Uh, doing what you got to do behind the scenes. What do we have ahead of us? Well, I was informed yesterday that there is a bill being introduced in the Senate. Uh, we're presently waiting for a number to come out on that bill. It is, uh, it will classify a crossbow as archery equipment. Uh, basically what it's, what it's setting up to do is any time, any place for any animal that you can use a bow, you can use a crossbow. The language basically will say longbow or crossbow. So it will include all of New York State, Westchester County, Suffolk County, um, the archery only areas in Albany and Monroe County. It's going to eliminate the 200 pound draw, draw weight limit that we ha presently have, uh, the 17 inch width. Uh, we will take it will, it will take the uh, setback from the 250 we presently have and put it at the 150 that we have uh, for all other archery equipment. 
Youth will be allowed to start using it at 12, like they can bows. It'll eliminate the, and the best part, you're gonna, people will be using a bow license. It's no, it will take the muzzleloader classification away. Now there's no guarantee this will pass, but we're gonna fight hard and we're gonna, we're gonna get as much of this through this year as we possibly can. And what that takes is membership. That takes people calling uh, legislators for us, um, for themselves actually, calling their legislator and requesting that they support it. Especially once we have bill numbers, then it will, uh, it's easier because you can ask them to sign on to this bill. All right, and where can we find it? Um, we're, on, we're online uh, at www.nycrossbowcoalition.com. You can also find us on Facebook. We are the New York Crossbow Coalition on Facebook. Um, so there's a, there's a bunch of different ways. If you go and do a, uh, a search online just for Crossbow Coalition or New York Crossbow, we will probably come up as your number one hit. That's great. I want to say that as hunters, I've hunted with many different types of weapons, knives, rifles, bows, compounds, crossbows. We're hunters. Yes. I believe in all right to fight for what we believe in and hunt however we see fit. So let's stick together instead of fighting each other on how you want to hunt. It's our choice. Let's do it together. Yep. Thank you. Thanks again.